Hello everyone, if you're new to my channel, my name is Tierney, also known as Miss Tierney, and it's a pleasure to meet you. And if you're returning to my channel, hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the first year teaching tag. This tag was created by my fellow Teach for America core member, Christina. Her channel is Teach Like a Girl, and I'll leave the link to her original tag video down below. For this video, I am partnering with seven other teachers here on YouTube to do a tag loop. You know that I've already done one of these on my channel before. I'll link that down below if you have not seen it. And I'm so excited to be doing another one, so I'm going to leave the link to all of the teacher YouTubers that I am collaborating with down in the description box below. So since this is a loop collaboration, make sure you stay tuned to the end so you know exactly which teacher's channel to head to next. So first I wanted to provide a little context on my first year teaching. I entered my first year teaching as a Teach for America core member. I taught third grade math, science, and social studies on the southeast side of Houston, Texas. 98% of my students were on free and reduced lunch. The student body of my school was about 70% Hispanic or Latino and 30% African American. The staff demographics did actually reflect the population of the student body. During my first year, I had two classes and one partner teacher. And during my first year, I had about 27 students alone only in my homeroom class. And for elementary, that's kind of a lot. So now that you know a little bit of context around my first year teaching, I'm gonna get right into the questions. So I'm gonna be reading the questions off of my phone. So the first question is, what was your worst moment in your first year of teaching? Honestly, there are too many worst moments for me to even think about. There is not just one worst moment that I've had throughout my first year teaching. However, I can say that at one point, a third grade student definitely did curse me out. So that was one of the many worst moments that I've had teaching. <laughs> Question number two, what was your best moment in your first year? So my best moment in my first year would be any time that a leader on my school campus would ask me to help another teacher with classroom management. There are many times throughout my first year teaching that my principal or someone from the district would come into my classroom and after observing me, ask if they could possibly send another teacher from another school or from another place inside of our school to come to my classroom and pretty much observe my classroom management and if I could talk with them about the strategies I use and things like that. So I think as a first year teacher being really strong at classroom management, knowing that there were teachers who had years upon years of teaching experience, but, but I was one who did really well in the area of classroom management, that would definitely be one of my best moments and it's already something that I love doing. I mean, as you know, I love talking about classroom management, most of my videos are on that. Number three, what is your biggest regret from your first year? One of my biggest regrets would be any time that I stayed late. I believe staying late definitely led to burnout and me feeling really exhausted as a first year teacher and extremely overwhelmed. I think it's very important to have work-life balance and to take care of yourself. So that would be one of the regrets, not leaving work on time. Question number four, what is something you wish you knew before you started teaching? One thing that I wish I knew before I started teaching was don't expect others to appreciate you. Learn how to appreciate yourself and encourage yourself and pat yourself on the back. This is one of the many tips that I shared in a recent video that I just did in a collaboration with Too Cool for Middle School. I'll link our videos down below, but we share multiple tips that we wish we knew as first year teachers. So if you're looking for more tips, I highly recommend that you watch our videos. I know personally that everything I shared in that video came straight from the heart so if you like the tip that I just shared with you I have 10 other tips that I talked about what I wish I knew as a first-year teacher and number five what advice would you give to a first-year teacher I would say do not compare yourself to anyone and be true to yourself Make sure that you are not trying to be a replica of any other teacher that you see on your campus. It's fine to seek inspiration from other teachers, but at the same token, you have to be true and authentic to you because students can definitely spot when you're being unauthentic. So make sure that you are being yourself. Learn from others, seek inspiration from others. But at the end of the day, you can only be the best you that you can be, and your students are gonna appreciate you for exactly who you are. So make sure you're just being true to yourself. 
So those are all the questions for the first year teaching tag. I really enjoy doing this tag and I love doing teacher tags. So make sure that you head on over to the next teacher's channel, which is Teacher Tales. I'll leave the link to her video in my description box below and that's whose channel you will need to head to next. If you like this video and would like me to do more tags on my channel, give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure you share it with anyone you know may find it helpful. And also I would like to hear from you. What has been your best moment during your first year of teaching? Make sure you subscribe to my channel, share this video out with anyone you know may find it helpful, and make sure that you turn on your notifications so that you do not miss any time that I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!